Over the course of a career that spanned more than 30 years, Johnny Depp has played more than a few strange characters, partly because of weird director Tim Burton, which has seen him embody everyone from Willy Wonka to Sweeney Todd. Though he's had a tortured relationship with fame, he's a master of his craft and an extremely interesting guy to boot. We've heard no shortage of larger-than-life stories about Depp over the years, but they don't tell the whole story. We delved into that story, and so much more, to bring you the unknown truth about Johnny Depp. Soft Spot for Kids In an interview on The Graham Norton Show, Norton asked Depp what it was like to bring the gift of Jack Sparrow to children, since it's well known that Depp visits children's hospitals and schools as his popular Pirates of the Caribbean character. Depp revealed his personal struggles with his own daughter's illness, telling Norton he was the one who really got a gift from those visits, that to be able to bring a smile or a giggle was everything. Depp's visit to the Lady Clienteau Children's Hospital in Brisbane, Australia in July 2015 lasted three hours. He visited the Greenwich School in London after nine-year-old Beatrice sent a letter requesting piracy lessons. It would appear that Depp feels a strong affinity for his Captain Jack persona, and has an enormous soft spot for his young fans. Very Important Zombie Movie Johnny Depp doesn't only appear in massive Hollywood blockbuster franchises. In 2016, he acted in a micro-budgeted movie. It came together thanks to the Make a Film Foundation, a charity founded in 2007 that helps filmmaking dreams come true for kids and teens with serious or life-threatening medical problems. The Black Giandola was written by 16-year-old Anthony Conti, stricken with stage 4 adrenal cortical cancer. Conti also starred as a young man, who in the wake of a zombie apocalypse risks everything to save the life of his only companion. He's in an all-star band. Depp didn't move to California in 1983 because he wanted to break into acting. He was in a band, The Kids, who were pretty successful in Miramar, where Depp moved and grew up after being born in Owensboro. Depp later started the band P with Butthole Surfers frontman Jibby Haynes. Although they broke up fairly quickly he remained musically active. Most recently he's been in a band called The Hollywood Vampires alongside Alice Cooper, Aerosmith guitarist Joe Perry and Guns N' Roses vet Stuff McKagan and Matt Sorum. The members say they've all had brushes with death, and Depp in particular seems to feel lucky to be part of the collaboration. A self-titled album was released in 2015. Wants to be as himself. After posting an interview from the Today Show with Depp and Black Mass co-star Joel Edgerton, that Depp didn't even know his own accent anymore, Depp has always been a little quirky when speaking at interview. He does tend to go a bit British than Bostonian, or Mad Hatterish, or whatever, but considering that in that same interview, he actually said the last thing I want to look like is me, there might be more than dialect confusion at play. In the ASU Origins Project discussion, Depp talked about a conversation he once had with his mentor Marlon Brando. When Depp told Brando he was doing two or three films per year, Brando told him that was too many, arguing that we only have so many faces in our pocket, although he insisted he felt like he still had no shortage of faces left. Depp said he became an actor by mistake, and he still wasn't sure whether it was the right decision. Is Johnny Depp okay? Johnny Depp appeared in two major films in 2017, Murder on the Orient Express and Pirates of the Caribbean Dead Men Tell No Tales, and in 2018 including the second Fantastic Beast entry. Depp looked mostly like his perpetually youthful self in those films, which was why fans were shocked when an odd picture of, of the actor circulated around the internet in spring 2018. The Instagram fan site Johnny the Depp presented an image of Depp posing with a fan in Russia, looking ghostly pale and skeletally thin. On that Instagram post, fans wondered why Depp was looking so skinny. While others blamed everything from drug addiction to preparing for a movie role, as it happens it's probably for a film, Depp is set to star in a dramedy called Richard Says Goodbye as a professor dying of a terminal illness. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, please hit the like button. If you want to see more videos, hit the subscribe button. And if you have something to say, please leave a comment.